Welcome to a masterpiece of Amiga programming. It's Gloom, which is essentially Doom on the Amiga, or a variation, a clone of it. There were many clones of Doom for the Amiga uh, in 1995, including Alien Breed 3D, Fears, uh, Behind the Iron Gate, and Gloom was just one of them, and it was one of the the best one. We've got uh, different violence levels here. Messy, meaty. Let's go for let's go for messy. We like a bit of that. Um, player one, keyboard. I think. Oh, we haven't got the CD32. This is running on a stock Amiga 1200. Uh, let's begin one player game. And this is Gloom Deluxe from 1996 which added some high resolution modes because before the pixels were quite large and you know you can only run it on a stock 1200 with large pixels to be fair but for the people who had like graphics expansion cards or an Amiga 4000 then higher res modes were useful and they look pretty good and of course this can only run on the AGA hardware it can't run on a Amiga 600 or any anything like that. What are the buttons? Oh, that seems to cause some sort of a firing situation. Any sort of strafe ability here? Oh, I would love the ability to strafe. How do we strafe? As you can see, the window is quite small at the moment, so let me just take care of these alien bastards. And then, oh, can you can I even? Is it even possible to strafe in this game? You can do it on the CD32 because it has shoulder buttons, which, oh yes, oh that's a bit of strafe isn't it, a bit of strafe action I've got going on there, um, okay, okay I can kind of work this, oh maybe, oh okay right, um, so we can have full screen resolution but as you can see with a stock 1200 full screen resolution it is slow as hell on the Doom Deluxe version because the resolution is fairly acceptable. So we have to lower or increase the pixel size to, let's say, too wide and too high. You can also increase it to four wide, four high, which makes it look like. Wait a minute, let's go back. There you go, that's pretty quick, but you can't really see anything. It looks like someone's been sick over the screen. So I think, let's try running it, uh, pixel height, let's try, pic yeah, pixel width 2, pixel height 2, I think that should run re yeah, reasonably well on a stock 1200, you can also turn off the, uh, what can you turn off, ceilings and floors, because unlike a lot of games of this era, the ceilings and the floors are, uh, uh, what are they called? Bitmap? Texture map. And not just a single sheet, a single picture. You'll notice that the sound effects from this game, or you might notice, are ripped straight out of Aliens. I will go into that further on Friday's video when I talk about Doom clones. But I noticed it. I was like, what? I've heard that before. That sounds, that sounds like Bishop. Anyway. Yeah, this is this is reasonably playable. At this sort of resolution, yeah, it's a bit choppy, but hey, you know, if you had an Amiga 1200 at the time and you'd seen Doom, you'd, you'd be craving for a game like this. And this game filled that gap quite nicely. It did the job well, and I I've spent quite a lot of playing time playing this on the CD32 because it's quite addictive. It's got good atmosphere, a lot of atmosphere. Uh, you can see the gun in this one on the non-deluxe version. I don't think you can see the gun. You just kind of fire out of your body. Let's see what we've got. Hello, mate. So we're, we're kind of killing marines in this game. We're not taking on alien bastards or the fury of hell. We are just killing marines and they're kind of exploding all over the place. I'm not sure what the difference between meaty and messy is. It looks like there's less blood in... <laughs> is that an arm that flew towards me? There's less blood, but limbs do seem to fly, 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 fly further. Yeah, they do seem to explode quite extensively. 
So we're obviously trading off the graphical blood effects for Doom. No, not for limb. Limb dispersion. Limb dispersion. Always about the limb dispersion. Can we press this? There we go. What does that do? Ah, yes. It opens a pathway to your soul. Oh, hello. Hello, Danny. You want some gunfire to you? Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm... I deaded myself, or he has deaded me. God, good. God, I gotta do this again. It doesn't help where the straight the straight button is a bit. Nah, it's, it's like the other side of the keyboard. That's not very useful. Oh, acceptable. Get the switch. Just get the switch. Have I already done the switch? It's green already, isn't it? Right, so I can just go straight back. Ah! Oh my word! And down here we have these little balls which you pick up and they provide you with some sort of new weapon. Okay, can I change weapon? Nope. I, I might just try playing it with. Uh, okay, let's just see how fast we can get this. Window size. We'll have full window size, but we'll have chunky pixels, no floor, no ceiling. And this should be. It's not even that much quicker, is it? I mean, it's a little bit smoother, but you really <laughs> can't see. This, this is what it's like to be extremely short sighted. You can kind of make out what's going on, but not really. Anyway, join me on Friday for an extensive Doom Clones episode. Oh, I'm going to be playing Doom Quick Play tomorrow and I'll have some more Amiga related action on Thursday. Yeah, it's a five video week. See you later. Bye bye.